Alright, today I'm here at a store that many of you have probably heard of, many of you probably have been here before. It's actually my first time here and if you haven't been to this store, you gotta visit it out. It's East Ocean Aquatics and it's a pretty incredible store. Today we're gonna tour this whole place. Alright, so here we are at East Ocean Aquatics. You can see that they've got an outside section over here and they've got more stuff behind this like driftwood and rocks and stuff that we'll take a look at later on. But first of all, let's go inside and let's take a look at some of the fish and plants that they've got here. So first of all, just a quick overview of the store. You can see right here that's a beautiful display of pretty large sized parrot fish. Take a look at that. I really love the simplicity of this tank, just very nicely set up. Yeah, really cool setup going on here. I like this cabinet too, nice grey color finish. Alright, so if we move on over here, you can see another display tank here. This looks like a two-footer uh, with a bunch of rainbow fish inside. These are the lacustris, or the blue rainbow fish, the turquoise rainbow fish and some other fish and the fish are for sale you can see all the fish here are for sale This section right here, we'll take a look at in a moment, but this is all aquatic plants, tissue culture plants here, and then all potted plants, and yeah. So you can see more discus here. The discus look really good. The colors are really nice too. Yeah. And goldfish, you can see how active they are. Over here you've got the Ranchu goldfish, which I really like. I love the shape of ranchus. So cute. And the colors are really nice too. Really bright, vibrant red colors. And over here we come to the tissue cultured plants. You can see uh, mostly tropica plants. see all the different types. The good thing about tissue culture plants is that they don't come in with any algae or pest snails and stuff like that so yeah and then up here you've got them in bags. And then over on this side you've got potted plants. A bunch of cryptoporins here which is really nice because these are my favorite plants. And then some Lagenandras up here. Similar looking to cryptoporin, but I think they grow much bigger in size. Yeah, so it's nice that they've got a wide selection of plants. But more over here as well. These are submerged plants in the pots. See up here. This is like one of the like best fish stores in Singapore that I've been to. I've never seen like this variety of plants in such good condition and so organized as well. And I can't believe I've never been to this store before, so... Yeah, if you haven't been here too, you gotta visit this place. Yeah, on this side, you've got a bunch of different kinds of fish that we'll take a look at in a moment. Right here, you can see more plants. Limnophila aromatica, the Bligia arcuata, you've got Rotella orange juice, uh, super red Ludwigia. Yeah, and you can see they're all labeled, so. Yeah. On this side, opposite from all the plants, you've got some smaller fish in the middle and up top. And then down below, you've got some large fish like Oscars right here, and some koi down there, more koi, and then more koi over there. Let's take a look at some of the smaller fish. Over here you've got some mollies. 
then you've got some of these black skirt tetras, which is a pretty common fish. Up above, you've got rummy nose tetras, as well as female bettas over here. And then right here, there's some special fish in this tank, which you gotta really look closely for them. Uh, so first of all, you can see that there are rummy nose tetras in here, as well as lemon tetras. And then if you look even closer, the Sabwa Asian Rummy, which is my favorite fish. The Asian Rummy Nose Raspora is what I call them. Yeah, this guy right here. And they're not really colored up in this tank, but if you get them and you put them in a nice ponta tank, they will color up really beautifully. And I think it's one of the first times I've ever seen these fish in Singapore. So, yeah, if you come by here, gotta pick those fish up. Over here, you've got some of these glow... Daniel's long fin as well, like crazy color. Yeah. And down below you've got some of these. These are kind of like the trending fish right now. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I know that there are many people who like these fish. And then up over here you've got some German blue rams here with some electric blue rams that are the balloon version. And then you've got some more different types of rams in here see a golden one right there. Uh, some harlequin rosboras here. You've got the five banded barb with some cherry barbs and some albino cherry barbs as well. Uh, moving on over here you can see there's more small fish. Uh, these are crazy. Look at them. It's incredible. Yeah these are the glow danios. You can see the pink zebra dania. Then you've got the golden types and the green types as well. Yeah. And here you've got some mixed tetras, the serpe tetra as well as the rosy tetra. This store has so much to film, it's kind of impossible for me to get everything, so if I miss some stuff, I apologize. Right here you can see some thread fin rainbows, these are beautiful. Yeah, it's hard to find good quality thread fin rainbows, um, so yeah, this place has some really nice selection. You can see angelfish over here. Uh, down there, wow, these are huge. Wow. These are monos. I'm not too sure what type. Uh, it says dactylus. Mono dactylus. Really cool. As well as archer fish in there. Yeah, and then you've got some African cichlids down below. Look at the colors here. Beautiful. And some small Oscars. And here you've got the albino type as well as the regular tiger oscar and over here some mollies look at them super active also a bunch of goldfish in the store over there we saw as well a bunch of goldfish selection different types up here you've got cardinal tetras all the common uh, schooling tetras the green neons as well all right somehow we've made it to this side of the store this is like the corner section of the store and you can see uh, they've got all the products here the equipment and stuff here on this wall you've got fish food and some fertilizers as well. You can see APT complete line up there. Um, and then over there you've got more fertilizers from Tropica and some fish medication as well. On this wall here are the aquascaping tools and I, I love looking at stuff like this. I can look at stuff at, like this all day long. You've got soils down below. Uh, you've got your scissors, pincettes, stuff. Even ADA goods here which is really cool. So they've got a wide selection. You've got the Twin Star CO2 diffuser which is my favorite CO2 diffuser to use. So one I'm using at the moment and my favorite. 
And then here you've got the metal pipes, the stainless steel pipes, as well as the glass lily pipes. Uh, so yeah, very good selection going on. And then you can see we're back at this display tank and we'll take a quick look at the outside of the store. I really love stores with this outside area. It's uh, It just adds more and you can look look at more stuff you can see driftwood and the prices here are really good take a look at this piece this is incredible what a nice piece of driftwood and there's more uh, then you've got the stones over here i like how they got them in these wooden boxes very nice and then of course you've got the tank sets with the stands yeah and then more tanks over here and then this is a little bonus because this is a side store it's still the same east ocean as you can see they've got two east oceans and let's take a quick look in this little store you can see there's a four foot display tank here which is beautiful you can see the dragonstone wow i really like this a bunch of cardinal tetras in here you can see some uh, dwarf pearl guramis looking really nice and I just love the colors in this tank the greens the reds yeah very very lovely I like this fish too I'm not too sure what it's called but that's a beautiful fish this is a cool little room I'm not too sure what it is really but I think there are some display tanks that you can purchase uh, if you really wanted to you can purchase these tanks you can see it's running the new Oase hang on back filter you've got the twin star light really cool display tank going on here really nice growth of plants this one is really cool too I love how this is like all red and this one here is all green yeah really nice and here's another green one very simple like low-tech tank no co2 in this and then now here's a tank that i really like i really love the decor in this tank this driftwood just standing up i think it's fake it's not a real driftwood but it looks super cool and the earth eaters just match this tank so nicely with the sand on the bottom yeah very nice setup going on here as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put all the links to this place in the description below. So make sure to go check it out. If you haven't visited this place, you gotta visit it. And I'll see you guys next time.